have this lovely old Japanese pattern book. The first time I looked at these patterns, I had no idea what was going on. And then with the help of this book by Kathleen Kinder, I discovered that it was actually a very efficient way of writing machine knitting instructions. So let's get into it. Here's a diagram for a knit pattern. The diagram represents the shape of the piece to be knitted, in this case a sleeve. We have the information indicating the knit structures to be used. One by one rib for the cuff and stockinette or jersey for the main fabric. Also we have the stitch length, tension or stitch dial information. For the cuff both beds are set to one and for the jersey the main bed is set to eight. We have the width at key stages of the knitting in both centimeters and stitches, and we have the length in centimeters and rows. Now for the fun part. This series of three numbers represents the rows knitted, the increase or decrease amount, and the number of times a sequence is repeated. So here we knit 14 rows, then increase one stitch 10 times. After we've done that, we knit 20 rows. This is all the information up to the armhole. We know there are increases and not decreases because of the diagram. At the armhole, we bind off four stitches each side. I would bind off four, then knit across and bind off the other side. Now we're shaping the sleeve head. Knit four rows, decrease two stitches, so double decreases, five times. Then follow the instructions up until knit one row, decrease one 11 times, and then bind off the remaining 16 stitches. All of these increases and decreases are performed on both sides of the fabric to create a symmetrical piece. Now let's apply the same method to our swatch. The swatch is in jersey, stitch length or tension seven. Cast on 50 stitches. I've put the measurements in inches and then knit 30 or 31 rows. Then bind off five on the left hand side. Knit one row, decrease one stitch two times. Then knit two rows, decrease one stitch four times. Follow the steps up to knit 19 or 20 rows and then bind off the remaining 35 stitches. I just noticed one mistake here. This would be better if it was written 55, 54 to give a total of 85 rows. That was one of our videos from our newly released class, Shaping and Transferring Stitches. Another thing that we've just added to the website is the community page. There you can ask questions about specific classes that you're taking of us and other students. You can post pictures of your projects, which we would love to see. And you can make suggestions or just look for support. So check all of that out at www.thenittingschool.online.